Hey. Oh, oh hi. We make a cooking show where we go door to door and we offer people lunch. We, we can come in and make you lunch if that interests you. No, I'm just sitting Oh, have a nice day. day. You foxy man. <laughs> Get it? Hey. Let's go. That's a lot of action figures or something. Hi there. Hi. Uh, we make a cooking show where we go door to door and we offer to make people lunch. So if you're interested, we're making summer rolls today and we'd love to cook you lunch. <laughs> These two guys have just come and offered to make me lunch. I'm not ready for lunch. Hmm, when would you be ready for lunch? Okay, bye. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just working now, so I'll hmm. be stopping in about an hour. All right. So, well, I mean, if you got, listen, if you've got somewhere else to go and you're there and you don't come back, mm. that's fine. But if you do, all right. Oh, lovely. Yeah. All right. All right cheers. Right. Well, my name's Ed. Uh, okay. In the meantime, okay. what's your name? David. All right. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Perfect. Right. Well, thanks. Have a nice day. Yeah. If we don't see you. We're going to try make this a much more stable episode. We're sorry about the erratic <laughs> filming Some before. Some people have said that they're getting sick watching us. So hopefully this will be easier. Hey, guys. Do you have any lunch plans? No. No. Oh. Now we're going in search of David. Who's your favourite famous David? All right, let's list some. Beckham. Williams. Bowie. Cameron. Um, and, and Goliath. Goliath. <laughs> Is this guy's name definitely David? David, all right, yeah. nice to meet you. I mean, we're here now. We're Too late. Hey, oh, look at that, right? we <laughs> are back. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's Hope us you again. Found anyone else to kick you lunch? No, in the meantime. Well, there's these two oh. other guys. <laughs> <laughs> Send them home. Oh, Send them home. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks. No, thanks so we just couldn't find anyone quite like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> through straight through here. Straight through. Sweet. Lovely. Oh, it's got cats. Yeah, we've got cat. What's that? What's that? Nice. Cat. Yeah, she's very old. Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. Well, that's lovely, lovely kitchen. There's corn on the wall. Corn on the wall. Corn on the cob. Yeah, what are the best things for corn to be on? Oh, I would say first off the cob. I mean, like, apparently the wall comes second because I really like this. Mm. What do you do? You I'm a musician. Musician. Oh, I'm amazing. Amazing. Yeah. I play the cello and I conduct wow. an orchestra and I run a music education charity. Wow, so tons of music. Yeah. Yeah. And my wife's a music teacher and violinist, and the kids all play. Oh my it god. Is. All right, let's get out some of our ingredients. Okay. So let me let me walk you through what we got. All right, so we've got some iceberg lettuce, some fish sauce, a cucumber, a variety of herbs, rolling things for mm. uh, summer rolls. One or two of these. Bean sprouts. We've lost half a carrot on the journey, okay. but two, oh. two, one and a half carrots. Some ginger, okay. a lime, and also some prawns. It takes me back to the, the late lamented Vietnamese restaurant on the corner. That's what we go there every week. Yeah. What do you say? Time for some hardcore prawn. Some hardcore prawn. <laughs> We're just going to pop these straight in here um, for a little bit until they get a bit of a more of a pink colour. They look quite pinkish, don't they? Yeah. Have you ever heard of people boil like cooking pasta in a kettle? Earl Grey pasta. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Delicious. Delicious. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, yes, there's not a lot you can do about that. All right, so now I guess we'll just go on with some of these herbs. Coriander to start with. This is one of those Dill. strange houses where you've got about eight chopping boards and each one has a distinct identity. That's vegetables. Does it have a name? No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. Just a just a life and a story. Mm. This looks idyllic. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, according to Donald Trump, the the uh, American Revolutionary Forces took over the airports. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Ve uh, like, it's so impressive for a country to have just conquered aviation a good hundred <laughs> years before anyone else even thought of it. They, That's they, yeah. They didn't tell anyone. You need an airport before you have a plane because where are you going to put the planes? Well, yeah, <laughs> the airports may have been there long before the planes. Yeah, exactly. The That'd be a long wait. Yeah. I mean, I've had delayed flights, but <laughs> I've never had to wait for the invention of the thing I'm flying. <laughs> um, I think we should do two of these, then we'll definitely have enough. How many? How many grams are in each one? Mm. 
Well, 50. No, it, de- it definitely works. Like <laughs> I mean, everything has a weight. Yeah, I mean, good point, good point. Uh, yeah, I'd say two of these probably. Right. I think we're um, pretty much like, mm. good to get started on these. All right, What's so what you want to over here, Ed? we have got our spring roll wrappers, rice papers. We're going to fill this up with water a little bit. Cool. So we just want to like make sure we get all of it a little bit wet. And we're going to like whack a bit of carrot in there. A little bit of the iceberg along here. So, some noodles, coriander, dill and Thai basil. Then a couple of bean sprouts and two halves of prawn. Yeah, see I think I've made this one a little bit too wet. So it's a little bit like sticky. Sometimes you have to like fold it all in and then tighten it in the roll. The first one is often not the best, but that is a hmm, semi-respectable, kind of eatable summer roll. Hopefully we're going to improve on the second round. How's the uh, sauce coming along there? Uh, so we got lime, a bit of fish sauce, golden caster sugar. Then we're going to go in with the chilli, garlic and ginger. And have a grand old time while doing it. Nice. But this is my tip, you know, as an experienced non-parent. Be a bad parent because then they'll move out sooner. They'll never move out. Doesn't matter how bad you are. How old are your kids? Nine. And they haven't moved out. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them to get on with it. You've got to make hay while the sun shines. I mean, that's definitely not it. You don't want to make hay while it's cloudy, are you? A lot of the time I get my expressions confused. The other day he asked whether having your ducks in a row was the same as having your eggs in one basket. And is that the same as six of one and a half dozen of another? It's the egg half full, duck half empty. <laughs> Very nice. Do you want to have a go on it? Left first and then right. Yeah, sounds about right. I might try one of these. That is a hot sauce you make. Moment of truth. He gathers. Just oh, beautiful. Oh. Nice one. Look at that. that. That's classic. That's pageant quality. Just beautifully put oh. together. Go for it. You need to come off of it. Yeah. Why am I talking to them? <laughs> I just spend like so I'm much time with them. Yes, I talk with my summer <laughs> I talk with all my food. I mean, like, I used to play with my food when I was younger, but I've grown up a bit. Yeah, now we just Now talk. we chat. Yeah. <laughs> Tobacco warnings are actually... Like, you don't really notice them when you're a kid. But they're quite shocking, like... Well, they've got more and more. Well, it started with... May cause some illness in some people occasionally. Yeah, like, it started, started with... Smoking is slimming. Yes. Well, originally, originally, it was smoking is good for pregnant women. I saw the most shocking thing, like a, a clip on TV, um, from mm. TV in the 60s or whatever, black and white in the States. The news anchor, he's like, so, you know, this is uh, like, he probably literally said, this is Philip Morris, here to give their perspective. So, is smoking really harmful? And the guy goes, well, I mean, <laughs> we haven't found anything to suggest that there might be a link between smoking and illness. And then the news anchor just goes, Oh, excellent, great, thanks very much. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah, the, like, then the guy's just like, would you like a camel cigarette? And yeah. he goes, yes, I would actually. <laughs> what a remarkable time for, like, for TV. No, this is good. The sauce is, that's serious. That is, yeah, and it's yeah, quite, yeah. quite, like, you could keep that sauce going for a couple of months as well, yeah, you know. Probably. No, it's like more a of a, spoon over. it's a garnish. Mm. Yeah. 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 A dressing. Yeah, a dressing. Because mm. this is basically a salad wrapped up, isn't mm. it? Yeah, it's a noodle yeah. salad wrapped mm. up. Oh, that's great. Yeah, no, thanks, oh, well, thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. I mean, it is, but, I think it's the sort of thing where it's something... Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> thanks so much, that was great. I how it went. No, no, definitely. Um, let's finish up the, uh, the washing up because you've, you've got stuff to do. That's lovely, it's really nice music. Thanks so much for playing. We've got a, um, got a parting gift for, for you. For a little thing. Perhaps slightly more for, for your cat. For the cat. It is. 
We give this it to all of our guests. Cat grass. Oh, okay. Shoots for the cat to eat. Is yeah. it catnip? Oh, it benefits the cat's diet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta have a good, okay. good cat diet. Bring the old ears back. Yeah. It's magical stuff. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. See you later. Bye. Yeah, bye. Hey, so we just come out. Lovely guy, David. Um, we were talking earlier about which our favourite David is. There's definitely got to be him now. No, yep. no doubt. He tops that list. Hang on. Oh my God, we could have used that. Yeah. No. Okay, well now this has to be our outro. <laughs> well, All right, peace. What a shame. Yeah. Goodbye, folks. <laughs>